Hey, Shalom, Shalom, my Kim. Uh, Yahweh Bashim Yashah, Bashim Rakakadash, Rakatom. I just want to come back again, you know, with another lesson to the Spirit of Power, Yahweh Bashim Yashah. You know, as always, you know, Lord, will it be edifying to the Lord's elect? You know, but uh, first and foremost, let's give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakadash, double line to the elders, the apostles, the great millstone, the rule of teach well. And much peace, safety, and blessings to the, uh, the, the elect. All right, as uh, pushing this truth, the sincerity and the diligence. All right, a, a striving for the truth until death. You know, and I just want to, uh, you know, come back with this lesson. Lord willing, you know, it'd be an exhortation as well. You know, uh, just touching upon, you know, how here, you know, uh, hey man, as far as the men of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, hey, we, we have our hearts fixed and, and set, you know, of, uh, uh, you know, getting to the kingdom. All right, because everything that we see here is what uh, polluted. All right, well, it's good to speak about, uh, you know, as a treasure where Martha and Rust are corrupt, you know, because everything here is, you know, tangible. All right, tangible, tangible and temporary. All right, but the things that Yahweh Shimei Shah has laid up for us, all right, is incorruptible. All right, and that's what we're looking forward to. All right, we don't want to be here. We, we're not, you know, trying to be entangled with the cares and the affairs of this life. All right. For the simple fact that, you know, it's all going to come to an end. All right. So this is a Hebrews 13 and 14. OK, this is Hebrews 13 and 14. It says for here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. All right. And by us understanding that, you know, uh, everything here is temporary, that that allows us, you know, to keep the vision and fight even so more for the kingdom. OK. Uh, cutting off, you know, uh, all things that might not be necessary, right? Things that's uh, stopping us from uh, growing and, you know, trying to hinder certain things in the spirit, you know, really hinder anything in the spirit, you know? Totally, uh, uh, you know, seeking to find favor of Yahweh by Shimei al Shai. All right? Let me get this in the NLT. It says, for this world is not our permanent home, which we, you know, we know that. This world is not our permanent home. Why? Because what the scriptures speak about how when we, you know, uh, our permanent home, which is, you know, is when the kingdom is going to be established, when righteousness is going to, uh, you know, flourish throughout the earth, right? We're going to have our Lord, our King, our big brother, Yahweh Shai, you know, with us, okay? He's going to uh, rule, all right? He's going to have uh, that righteous staff, you know, uh, in the earth, okay? It says, for this world is not our permanent home, okay? It says, hey, another thing is we wouldn't be preaching, you know, and I'll pray when we, you know, when the kingdom is established, all right, hey, everything is going to be made known, all right? It says, we are looking forward to a home yet to come, okay? So that's why, you know, yeah, your houses, your cars, you know, uh, uh, EA, even family members, you know? You can't, hey, it's, it's nothing that you really can, uh, you know, enjoy here in America, all right? Why? Because everything is polluted, all right? Everything is polluted. So it says here we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come, all right? Another uh, another thing is, you know, the vexation, okay? The vexation in this place, okay? The Lord is uh, going to deliver us from that as well, man, constantly being vexed, all right? Because, well, we desire to see all the wickedness be put to an end. Okay, all the wickedness has to be put to an end, you know, in order for righteousness to, uh, you know, fully flourish throughout the earth, have its uh, righteous course. Okay, this is Second Peter two and seven. It says, "And delivered just like vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked." You see, and that's why we understand that this isn't our our uh, permanent home. Okay, because well, we're not gonna be uh, vexed, all right, in the spirit, all right. We're not gonna we're not gonna hear filthy conversation. Conversation is gonna be what uh, things of a righteous manner, all right. So that's why the more right, the more we the more we know is a saying, you know, the the, the, the more we know, the more we grow, and the more we want to go, you know. The more we want to go, every day you see something different that 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 vexes your spirit, all right. When you're in this place. <laughs> Because everything is is totally out of order, all right. The course the course of the world is is totally upside down, all right. This is Ecclesiastes one and eighteen. 
It says, for in much wisdom is much grief. You see? It says, and in that increase, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. <laughs> yep. And as the spirit that, you know, the, uh, we're ultimately in, you know, the more knowledge that we get, you know, the, the more things we see, right? The more we want to get up out of here. All right. Even when it goes into, you know, understanding our, our faults, man, the more sorrow and contrite we are, you know, because we understand that what, uh, you know, we were, we were offending you. How about you? shot greatly, you know, so now the path that we're on, we just, you know, we just want to do the right thing. You know, we, we desire to do the right thing, you know, in the eyes of y'all, but, but for the world, right, they don't give a damn about the Lord, okay? That's just the, you know, the truth of the matter. So, yeah, we the ones that, that look forward, right, to righteousness within the earth. Let's get that. Second Peter chapter 2. Well, 2 Peter chapter 3. In uh, verse 13, it says, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth. See, we, according to his promise, who are Israelites. All right? Who pertain to the adoption. All right? Who, uh, who are subject to receiving the, the promises, the covenants, the blessings. All right? We say, according to the flesh. You know, we look for a new heaven and a new earth, but as for everybody else, Right, they're going and, and uh, running after the spirit of, you know, uh, dwelling in the spirit of Esau, Edom, as it speaks about in the book of Psalms 49 and 11. You know, let me get it. See, they believe that this place is going to continue forever. This is Psalms 49 and 11. It says, Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. And their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. You see, they believe that they're gonna uh, be able to uh, pass down this in this this inheritance of, of uh, America, the land of, of the U.S. down to their their uh, grandchildren and their grandchildren, right? But the scriptures speak about how what this place is gonna be destroyed and not to be inhabited ever again. You know, but for us, what do we look forward to? Let's get it. This is what we look forward to, man. And that's why we continue to fight. This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 1. And uh, I'm going to start at, I'm going to start at 2. I'll start at 2. It says, elect according to the foreknowledge of the power, Yahweh the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shahamashiach. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied to the elect. All right. Scripture speak about what grace and mercy. Let me get it. Let me get that. All right. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter three and verse nine. It says they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And that's a, a, a major key factor. All right. As we've been able to receive the wisdom, not the understanding of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Right, but us able being being enabled to actually have the fear of the Lord, you know, shove within us. Right, we have the fear of the Lord, so now we're able to trust in Yahweh Shemiel Shai and have our faith in Him. We're able to what understand the truth. Right, know exactly who Esau, Edom, the the enemy, the heathens are. Right, know who we are as a nation. Know the names of Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. You see, know what's coming. Right, know the kingdom it is coming. It says, and, as su and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. And we, de we desire to continuously abide with Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai. All right. It says, for grace and mercy is to his saints, and he had care for his elect. All right. The Lord have care for his elect. So that's why it tells us that in the book of Jeremiah 29 and 11. You know, I, I, my, I know my thoughts toward you are peace. You know, and not destructed to what? And, and not destruction to give you, uh, what it says, to give you an expected end. You know? Because we expect everything according to what's written in the scriptures. All right? We live by what's written. All right? Verse 3, First Peter 1 and 3. It says, blessed be, yep, blessed be the, the power and father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. Which 
according to his abundant mercy had begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach from the dead. Ooh, hey, let me get this in the NLT. That's the spirit. It says, All praise to God, Yahweh, the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. It is by his great mercy that we have been born again because the Most High Yahweh had raised Yahweh Shah Hamashiach from the dead. Now we live with great expectation. You see? What we are expecting. All right? We're expecting the miracles of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. We're expecting, you know, great deliverance. All right? We're, 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 we're expecting for what? Uh, a prophecy to be fulfilled. All right? We're expecting the kingdom. Okay? We're expecting the, the, the chairs to pull up and deliver us. You know, so forth and so on. All right? We're, we're uh, expecting uh, uh, to hear the Lord say, Well done, thy good and faithful servant. You know? Verse 4, it says, to in, this is the point. It says, to an in, in, inheritance incorruptible. You know, so that's why we don't seek, you know, uh, uh, you know, this, this present kingdom and desire to dwell, dwell here forever. No, we, we, hey, we understand that our kingdom is coming. All right. And it's not here. This isn't our home. All right. Let me get that real quick in the book of John when Yahweh Shai, I believe it's John 15. You know, Yahweh Shah told, told us, you know, that we wouldn't be uh, uh, accepted here. You know, we wouldn't be accepted here. But he called us his friends. All right. This is this is John chapter 15. And I'll start at verse uh, 18. It says, if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. You know. So why would we be in the spirit of this uh, desire to constantly be amongst these people, right? And have our uh, uh, kingdom set up here, you know? No, nah, that's not how it's going to take place, all right? All the wicked has to be destroyed. Verse 19, it says, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own, right? But, hey, we're not of the world, right? We're of Yahweh Shem Shah, so what? Therefore, he loves us, all right? They love us. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai love us, all right? It says, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you, right? Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also, right? And because the scriptures speak about how what, uh, uh, my, the Lord's sheep hear his voice, you know, and they do follow him, Okay. So they followed the Lord back then. Or the scriptures say, hey, these are those that will follow me, follow me in the regeneration. All right. Which those uh, elect men are here today, man, pushing this truth. All right. And all hell is soon uh, uh, about to break loose, you know, for their uh, 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 incorruptible inheritance, you know, to be delivered unto them. All right. Speaking to the elect. All right. It says, uh, 1 Peter 1 and 4 says, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, right? When you look at everything in this present kingdom, it, it, anything can be defiled and tampered with, right? But what Yahweh Bashim Yahshua has for us, ain't nothing, nothing can taint it, all right? It says, and, and that faded not away. It says, reserved in heaven for you, you see? Verse 5, it says, who are kept by the power of Yahweh through faith, Unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, wherein ye rejoice greatly. So, like it, wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. So, this is ultimately what the elect are gonna be facing. You see, many trials and tribulations. That's why you know we be, we become vexed. All right, but ultimately the scriptures speak about how what uh, to, to count it with all joy. All right. For the simple fact that we're able to acknowledge why we're catching this hell, why we're going through these trials, is so that we can be uh, constantly leveled up in the spirit, okay? So that we can be able to withstand that evil day, all right? To, to be able to uh, withstand when the, this devil pushes out the MOTB, all right? That's why the scriptures constantly tells us to look unto the, uh, the author and, and the finisher of our faith, all right? That's going to come through Yahweh Shai, all right? Giving us the strength to endure. All right. Verse seven, it says that the trial of your fate being much more precious than gold 
that perish it, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and glory. So like you yeah, uh, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of your house, Shah Hamashiach. You see? Whom having not seen, ye love. And whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing. It all goes back to what? Us believing that we're going to receive this. All right? It says, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Receiving the end of your fate. There you go. Hey, as the spirit. You see, receiving the end of your fate. Even the salvation of your souls. You see? In the NLT, it says the reward for trusting in him will be the salvation of your souls. And there we are ultimately going to be equipped with a hey, promises, hey, the, 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 what, the new covenant, the glory, a hey, new bodies, the, the kingdom, you know, a rule over the heathen, you know, a hey, so forth and so on. It gets better and better. All right. We'll never have a dull moment in the kingdom, man. Hey, hey, how about Shimei Al-Shah is about to lift us up and deck us out, you know? And it's going to be made known, man, that the, the power uh, that we serve, hey, Yahweh Baha Shimei Al-Shah is the God of all gods, all right? You know, this is hey, this is the only, you know, uh, power, man, all right? And he's, he's our God, you know? So with that, um, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory. I see how old by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakodash, double I see the elders, the apostles, the great mills, on the rule to teach well. And much peace, safety, and blessings to the elect throughout the four winds, pushing this truth, and uh, sincerity and diligence, striving for the truth until that. Till next time, shout out